Foi, foi. Fish, very strong for the size of it. Very strong. Mind you, I didn't do a very good job of easing it. Should have had it in the nets to begin with.
fish, a little bit skinny. It's a good fish though, very strong. Beautiful pool in here. It's got a couple of really nice fish in here. I lost a really good one before and I saw a massive fish up the top. Well, it looked really huge anyway. Big dark shape, really long. There's two, um, two fish down in this pool, down in the bottom here, two rainbows. Uh, one's just behind where you can see where the, um, the tree the branch is going into the water. If you follow that tree branch down, um, the fish is just uh, below the end of that branch. And then there's another fish probably about uh, two metres above. Oh, look, it's, it's like he's feeding away, the one that's above it. Uh, it's just moved back into centre stream. And the one uh, downstream of the branch is, is not very much. Oh, yeah, that, this fish up, up ahead. Oh, here comes another fish. Oh, wow. So three fish in there. Oh, it just took something off the surface. Wow. Oh, those guys are feeding away, all right. It's tempting to um, have a fish for them again. <laughs> I'll leave them be.
Man, that's a beautiful jack. Really strong fish. Gave a real fight. I thought it's going to cut me off actually. I'm putting a lot of pressure on the fish. Just trying to get it in fast. And that's a solid jack. The best fish of the day. That's awesome. Really stoked with that. Beautiful jack. Uh, so I'm so stoked I made it down here. This is my turnaround point for today. My body's telling me it's about time uh, to turn around. Need to save some energy for the way home and yeah, you got to listen to your body sometimes. <laughs> this, um, this spot, I've been, I've come down this main river. To come down, I can tell that down there, only about 200 metres away, is the junction of a side stream. The side stream that I came down last summer. So, um, <clears throat> I'm really stoked that I made it this far, so now I know that this section of river is totally, um, um, totally doable. Uh, it's some, um, it's not really hairy. It's 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 starting to get reasonable size of water, but it's not really big water, so it's quite safe to come down. But it's um, it is really rough country, so hey, it takes a while. <coughs> hey, awesome scenery. As I got further down here, there was. Um, well, there's not many good pulls for the trout, only a few every now and then, probably a kilometre between pulls, so it's a really big effort coming down here. Um, but as we got down, the numbers of fish uh, seem to be slowly increasing. There's still good uh, pairs of fish in um, all, the, all the better water, and um, they're quite catchable. Uh, and some really good fish too. A lot of the fish are still, I guess, putting condition back on. The, I guess they're in still coming out of spawning mode, so... A lot of them are quite skinny, but they're good fish, good big solid fish, and um, all rainbows. There's a big pool back there where um, there's a big dark shape on the bottom, and it just sort of flashed up into the area that I was fishing. Um, that was after I'd caught two other fish in the pool. So yeah, I don't know if that's uh, that, that's possibly a really um, trophy-sized fish. It's good to know that those sort of fish still exist. Um, but so that was awesome to see. I tried to catch that fish, but I think it, um, it probably knew I was there. It was acting kind of strange, and it was right down on the bottom too. But it, yeah, if it was a fish, I don't think it was an eel because of the way it moved, but it was big, very big, very long. So um, yeah, I would say probably easily a trophy fish. Uh, it's two o'clock, time for me to turn around and head back. I've got um, a big mission ahead of me. Um, just having a look at this spot in here, just behind me, um, looks like a good, um, a good spot for, uh, for camping in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty. Oh, yeah. Looks like this has been used before, actually. Good animal track here, anyway. Yeah, this. Yeah, this would be an awesome place to camp, actually. Just sort of get away from the, uh, the noise of the river, um, which is nice uh, if you're camping beside a river. Just to get away from the um, away from the noise a little bit, uh, give yourself a bit of a chance to think. Oh, this would be an awesome spot to camp actually. Come back here. Big mission to get in here, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to if you're coming in here to to know that you uh, were actually spending the night, so you could. Um, just take it a bit easier. Yeah, I might do that next time actually. Awesome. All right, heading home. It's quite a bouldery section of the river up through here. Really beautiful. Best of New Zealand though. Pretty remote place. Uh, just gotta go careful when you're travelling through a place like this. Think about, uh, just you if you're by yourself, you have your plan B, your e -perb, handy, just in case you need it um, in a place like this. And um, you could very well need it as well. So uh, make sure that's uh, just uh, right with your in, uh, in the test pocket uh, 
with my vest here, so uh, if something happens to me, I can drag it out easily. But uh, you really want to want to have it uh, somewhere where you can't reach it if you fall over and injure yourself or something like that. Which uh, you can quite easily do in a place like this. I mean, the whole travel is just um, boulder hopping, basically. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It's quite easy to um, just get, get one foot, step wrong, step into a hole, and um, you can quite easily break a leg. Um, uh, you know, or just uh, even just to trip over and, and uh, sprain your ankle, twist your ankle, you do something like that really easily. So, yeah, when I go into places like this, I'm always, always got in the back of my mind really, it's just, uh, just every foot, every foot placement, um, just concentrating on getting it right. Thinking about, uh, you know, not taking any risks, looking at the safest way to do something, always looking at the safest way to cross a river, and you haven't got uh, a buddy there, someone else there to help you out, uh, you just got to keep those things in mind. Had an absolutely awesome day today. This is um, right at the start of the... Um, the backcountry trout fishing season, so um, all these uh, little rivers have um, just opened up. So uh, uh, it's awesome to get out again. And the weather today is just absolutely magnificent. Beautiful blue sky day, not a breath of wind, and um, the fishing has been pretty incredible too. So I could be alive. Uh, I could be a New Zealander. Right, I'm going to cross back over the river here, so um, I'm going to put the camera away and uh, concentrate on what I'm doing. down came around the corner and um, lo and behold here was a big black shag um, basically devouring a, a trout and it wasn't a it wasn't a juvenile trout either it was quite a large trout probably 30 30 odd centimeters long quite a good fish um, anyway I chased the shag away and um, the fish was still alive so um, I tried reviving the fish um, put it in the water, held it in the water probably for about 20 minutes or so um, but just couldn't get it to to swim um, and float up the right way and revive itself so real shame but uh, yeah I was just pretty surprised actually that um, um, shags would eat fish that size it's a bit of a worry really it must have quite, it could have quite an impact on uh, a fragile fishery like this Right, uh, we'll switch the camera off again and keep going. It's uh, probably about um, half past three, four o'clock. And we've probably got to about two hours, an hour and a half. Good hour and a half to go, so yeah, good mission. Awesome day. Cool, let's keep going. Well, it's my first um, backcountry trout fish of the season. The season's just opened a couple of days ago. Um, I didn't get out on the opening day. Um, the opening day was just a little bit grey, so I decided to wait a couple of days and um, <clears throat> till the weather found up and um, get out when it was really nice. Today has just been a spectacular day. Trout fishing has been really awesome. Um, caught some really good fish. Some fish were a little bit skinny, um, probably still just um, starting to recover from spawning mode. 